next we have other operation we can perform on strings is string copy so second operation we are going to see is copying a string into other string so if we have two strings string 1 and string 2 so is it possible to copy the all the characters of string 2 into string 1 or not so that a function we can perform by using the following segment code let us see So this segment code will copy the string 2 into string 1. Let us see how it copies the string 2 in string 1. Finally, of course, we are printing the string 1. So here string 1, string 2 are given to us. Let us assume that both are having declarations like this character string 1 of length 10 characters and second string let us assume that it is already initialized let us take an integer variable i so these are the two given strings string 1 it is having uninitialized string and we having second string which is initialized with the characters good g o o d and next we are having a variable this segment code should copy this second string into the first string so for that we are using for loop here so in the first case i value is initialized with zero and in the second in the condition part the second string of i is not equal to null character we are giving the condition that string 2 is already having some characters so we want to copy each and every character one by one into the string one until the end of the string that means we have to check with the null character of second string so until the second string reaches its end of the string character null the condition will be true and for loop will execute repeatedly so first character so i is equal to zero so string two is good initialized so the storage will be like string two it is initialized with characters like this in the memory so in the first case i is equal to 0 this value is here 0 1 2 3 4 so when i is equal to 0 string 2 of i not equal to null character so string 2 of i value is 0 now it is having g so g is not equal to null character so it is the condition true after that the for loop part the body of the for loop is string 2 of i is equal to string 1 of i so we are assigning the first character of the second string into first character of the first string so we are having a string 1 empty or uninitialized string of length 10 so 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so in the first character of the string 1 we are assigning the first character of string 2 so g will be stored in the first character or first byte of the string and the next i value will be incremented so i value will be incremented means now i value indicates 1 so when i value indicates 1 string 2 of i is now o so this string 2 of i now it is o so o not equal to null character so obviously the condition is true if the condition is true the second character of the second string is storing into or assigned to the second byte of the first string so this o will be stored in the second byte of the first string and then again i value will be incremented so now the i value will be showing the two so again the condition will be checked so the condition is now string 2 of 2 
is null character not equal to null character so again here it is o o not not equal to null character again the condition is true so obviously this assignment will be repeated so o will be stored into the first string in the second or third byte of the first string and then again i value will be incremented so the now i value will showing 3 again the 3 value is now it is d d is not equal to null character so the condition is again true If the condition is true again assignment so d will be stored here in the first string or copied and then i value will be incremented now the i value will be showing 4 so string to of 4 is null character so in the condition part we are having null character in the left hand side and null character in the right hand side so this condition fails here if this condition fails this loop will be exit so when the loop is exiting i value will be now it is 4 so while we are coming to this point i value is 4 but we are not assigning this second string for the fourth byte we are into the first string so since this condition fails this null character is not copied into the first string because of condition fail but we need as per the definition of the string at the end of the string we should or explicitly explicitly we should supply the null character to the string so here by using this statement i value is now 4 so we are assigning string 1 of i as null character so i value 4 obviously null character will be copied or will assign to the end of the string 1 so after the execution of the this program segment code the string 2 will be copied into the string 1 and it will be printed on the screen as simply good so like that we can copy one given string into the an empty string or already an existing string like this by using this for loop and this program segment code so this operation alternatively we can perform by using a built in function built in function string copy so str cpy it is also having two parameters like this so we want to copy one string into other string so for that instead of using that program segment code we can use directly this built in function str cpy by using these two parameters which are given two strings so here for first case string one let us take it is having everyone and a string 2 let us take an uninitialized string right so as per the syntax better take string 2 as everyone and string 1 as uninitialized string because as per the definition of this string copy function the second string contents will be copied into the first string and the contents in the string 2 will remains unchanged so the contents of this second parameter string is copied into the first parameter string and the contents in the second st second string does not change the same content will be of course stored in the string 1 so string 2 should be having some contents or characters in it and string 1 may be it may be uninitialized so in such condition the string 1 also store this everyone if we use this function so we are taking string 2 as storing everyone and string 1 is an uninitial uninitialized string so if we use this function like this with the two parameters so string 1 also having everyone and string 2 also having everyone the contents in string 2 does not change so our string copy we can use the parameters like that and there is other facility or we can represent like this also string 1 
observe here the first parameter is a string variable and the second parameter is a string constant so here directly we are we want to copy this everybody string constant into this string variable string 1 we are having string 1 with some appropriate size let us assume that string 1 of size 10 so everybody we want to copy into the string 1 so in this string 1 by using the string copy function directly by using this this is a valid statement so obviously after execution of this statement we will have the contents of string 1 like this so we can use two string variables in the two parameters of the string copy function or otherwise one is a string variable and the second one is a string constant so like that we can use a string copy function 